you can clearly see it's way, way off. And I contacted TFAL. They got right back to me. They gave me a link to order a replacement part. And I ordered it. And got an order confirmation. And then one month turned to two months, turned to three months, turned to four months. And the gauge finally arrived. And it was the wrong part. And it arrived broken. I tried to contact them to complain that, you know, hey, not only did it take forever to get here, but you sent me the wrong part and it arrived broken. And I constantly got responses in email or when I called saying COVID made it so that they couldn't have customer service people to help with these types of problems, which was stupid. And I just gave up because it was a $15 part and I have better things to do with my time. So I kind of just got really frustrated and just decided to buy myself another pressure canner. And this time I went with the Presto. And the reason I went with this Presto, not only did it have really good reviews on Amazon, but it's about the same price. I think it was $130. It's a similar size. It's just a tiny bit bigger than my T-Fell. And Amazon sells all the replacement parts for this canner. I don't have to depend on the company that's located who knows where in the world to help me get my replacement parts. I can order them directly on Amazon. And I actually went ahead and I ordered a replacement pressure gauge for this canner just to have on hand so we don't have the same fiasco happen again. Because when you're, you know, farmsteading or homesteading, your pressure canner is like a way of life and it needs to be in good operating order. I did find another company that has a replacement part that I need for the T-Fal, so I ordered that last week. So I'm not going to throw away my old canner. I still really like it and having two canners is going to be really nice. But I'm still waiting for that part to come in. So today we're going to test out this new canner by canning some potatoes. These are not homegrown potatoes. Um, this is potato season and carrot season guys. So be going to your store and looking for really cheap potatoes or looking places that you might be able to get free surplus uh, veggies because this is... This is a prime example of why I love pressure canning. What are you gonna do with 20 pounds of free potatoes? Most people would say, well, I can't use that many right now. I'm just gonna pass on it. Mm -mm. I may not be able to use it right now, but I can can these potatoes and then use them all year. So this is one bag's worth. The other bag we're actually just gonna use like potatoes because we will use those. There are a lot of people to feed. The girls helped me peel and dice them. We did wash them before we peeled them and we put them in water to prevent discoloration. I've sterilized my jars, just keeping them warm in the stove. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on the table. I've got water almost boiling. It's going to be used to cover the potatoes when I put them in the hot jar. And I'm just starting to warm up the water in my pressure canner. Be sure that you don't start the water boiling in your canner until after the lid's on. So we just want it hot, not boiling when we add our full jars. And lastly, we've got our lids, which we're actually going to go ahead and turn off and bring to the table as well. I've drained most of the water off. This is really heavy, so I couldn't quite get all of it, but that's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and fill the hot jars. I will tell you, raw packing potatoes, uh, they'll tell you that um, you want to boil the potatoes first and then fill the, the jars with the potatoes in the boiled water if you read traditional instructions. I found that that results in a mushy potato, like a really mushy potato that you really can't use for anything but mashed potatoes. And my kids hate mashed potatoes because they're weird. And so um, I prefer to pack them this way and then fill them with the boiling water because I feel like it gives a better product and the product is firm enough that I can use it for frying home fries. I can use it, um, I can add them to my crock pot if I'm making a roast. Obviously I still make mashed potatoes, but I make them for me and Sam, but nobody else eats them. I love having canned potatoes on hand because 
sometimes you just get behind for a day and potatoes is one of those things that takes a long time to prep a potato like you have to wash them and peel them most of the time chop them dice them and then you have to boil them and with a canned potato you've already done all that work and you already have like a pre-cooked potato so you get to pop open the can bring it back to a boil and you know make a mashed potato in five minutes a real mashed potato not a dehydrated mashed potato or you know you want a quick breakfast pop open a can and you just fry it up in a little bit of bacon grease with salt and pepper and you, you got a home fry no dicing and peeling and chopping required so we're filling them up just trying to get right below the bottom ring we're going to add water too and then we're going to run a knife around the edge to let some of those air bubbles out at this stage if you wanted to add a half teaspoon of salt to the jar you could do that i don't do that i prefer just to season them when i open the jar up the salt is not needed for canning safety it's just for taste save you a step later Final step, just gonna use a clean paper towel here, wipe the rings, make sure that there isn't any potato residue on them that'll prevent our jars from sealing. Okay, we're gonna let it build up steam, vent for 10 minutes, then we'll go ahead and put our weight on, and we need to get to 11 pounds pressure, and then we can start our timer. Okay, we are all done. We let it get all the way down to zero and sit and cool down. We're gonna remove the weight now. Don't be in a hurry. Try to open it before it's zeroed. You will have it explode. Open it up. Always open away from you so you don't get any steam burns. Our 10 pound bag of potatoes made six plus six, 12 pints of diced canned potatoes. <laughs> That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. We'll see you next time. I'm the scene. Say bye. Oh yeah, I can go faster than you. I can go faster, 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 faster. Oh yeah, watch me. Sorry, I didn't think you were in it.